Hi, my name is Georgina Martin. I'm a paediatric dietitian um, here at Addenbrooke's Hospital. Um, and I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about children with food allergy. Um, so food allergy affects around 6% of children in the UK. Um, it's much more common in children than in adults um, and can be severe. Children with other allergic conditions, such as asthma, are at higher risk of severe reactions. In some cases, children can react to even very small traces of the food they're allergic to. Food allergy can change over time. In young children, milk and egg are the most common allergens. In the older child, peanut, tree nuts, fish and shellfish become more prevalent. The mainstay of allergy management is to avoid the food that the child is allergic to. As you can imagine, this takes increased time, effort, cost to free from food, and families live with the daily anxiety that their child may have a significant reaction. The impact of food allergy on quality of life shouldn't be underestimated, and it's been shown to be comparable to other chronic health conditions, such as type 1 diabetes. Families often navigate the healthcare system, ed education system, and social interactions with people that may not understand the significance of their food allergy. As a dietitian, my role is to support children with food allergy to navigate everyday life, decision making, managing risk, managing anxiety, and ensuring they continue to meet their nutritional needs across their childhood. Children don't often present to hospital as an inpatient specifically for allergy management. However, at any point, there is a significant chance that any one of our paediatric patients are living with a food allergy. We have a duty to keep them safe, whilst at the same time meeting the nutritional requirements of their medical diagnosis. Their allergies may also mean that they have the added stress of a very restricted diet. All children, parents and professionals working with food allergic children need to have easily accessible, up-to-date information for all meals and snacks. We also need to remain mindful of cross-contamination risk between meals and with regards to food preparation, sometimes even a trace of a food on a pan or work surface is enough to cause an allergic reaction in some children. Meals and snacks need to be varied and be able to cope with a wide range of ages, medical conditions and other restrictions to the diet. Children with food allergies need to have comprehensive food labels in line with food labelling laws such as Natasha's law so they can make informed decisions on the food they receive in the hospital and that they buy from the cafe. I hope this helps to illustrate the needs of food allergic children and what we aim to provide um, as we move forward to our children's hospital.